Okay, so I'll just do a quick demo of pie charts, column charts, and bar charts. Let's say you have some customer complaints with Jungle Con company complaints. And uh, notice it's categorical data, so bad packaging, that was too slow, not what was pictured. Um, Amazon's actually done a great job fixing some packaging issues. I know a friend had a necklace delivered in a pizza box, and I've had a referee whistle taped to the bottom of a huge box. Um, but they've been really good about you know, surveys and collecting data on that. So let's say we had this information, bad packaging, slow, and not what was pictured with the different percentages. You can just go ahead and select those labels and, and um, percentages, and then insert pie chart. And the nice thing is you can also just kind of change the style very easily up here. I like to have the percentages shown, maybe something like that. And you can easily just double click on something to change it. So I just changed the title there. And over here you can also change whether you have the data labels or not, chart title or not. And I like to have all three. Um, if you have a Mac, I don't think you see these, but you have all these features up here. And you can change the colors, of course, too. Okay, so that's pie chart. And then you basically do the same thing for column and bar. Just insert column make it look better and can change the title by just double clicking on that. Same thing for bar chart, 2D bar, or again you could do 3D bar. <laughs> it can be deceptive sometimes so let's do 2D and do like that. So nice and simple. Um, there's also a way you can do, let's say you had data like this, where, and you weren't really sure what to do with it. Um, you can also go to Insert and Recommended charge, Charts, and here's a nice one to compare 1960 versus 2010 for marital status. It automatically puts everything in there, and then you can you know, change how it looks. Okay, and that's it in a nutshell.